So in this video, I'm going to go over the midterm practice part. You should see it on the screen here. Uh, you'll get the PDF version of it, but it'll have the same information. Uh, this isn't going to be graded, obviously, because I'm going to show you how to do it right here. This is good practice for what you're going to need to know basically for the midterm. It'll be the same format. You'll get a PDF drawing and you'll make a, uh, a model and send it to me via Brightspace. OK, check it out. So I've snipped uh, the, the drawing here into this little snippy file so I can keep it on the right with most of the information. The only thing we'll have to scroll over here is to see this uh, slot. So we'll come back over here. We want to kind of identify what we're going to do first. Uh, we're going to uh, model this rectangle. Uh, it might not be clear immediately, but this is essentially or I'm sorry, a square with a, a cylinder on it and then a cylinder coming up through the bottom. So uh, uh, I make a new part here. All right, so I'm going to go to extruded ball space. Let's do a front plane, corner rectangle. I make sure I hover over that origin, get it, you know, coincident with that origin, smart dimension. Even though it's a square, on the drawing, it's shown as three by three. So I'm going to put both of those dimensions in there. Three by three, exit. Right. Not much to that. Uh, we're going to extrude it to this half inch dimension down here. And this is going to be a blind extrude, right? Half inch, check, right? Now, what we could do, uh, is put the chamfer in the sketch. I don't know if I've, I've gone over this yet. We could just, you know, go up here and make a feature chamfer, right? That would work fine. But we can also go back into the sketch, or you could have done this to begin with. Uh, we'll go up here. You hover over sketch fillet, hit the little arrow, sketch chamfer, and we've got to select these two lines and it'll spit us out a, uh, a sketch chamfer. So I'm going to double click on this dimension. I'm going to enter 0.5, right? They're going to be equal automatically, which is kind of neat. And this is going to be our, our 0.5 and 0.5 chamfers over here. So click yes, exit, right? And that adds that feature in the sketch. It's not really a right or a wrong way. Um, this could be beneficial because you have less stuff going on in your uh, you know, tree over here, okay? So now we're gonna do the cylinder on top. So I'm gonna go to extruded boss space. I'm gonna click on the top of the part or the, the side furthest away from the front plane. We're gonna go to circle. I'm just gonna put it anywhere, right? It doesn't matter right now because we're gonna put a dimension on it. Uh, for location, two dimensions for location, one for the diameter. So let's click in the middle of the circle off to the side here. This is going to be 1.5 and we'll go 1.5 from the bottom. Right now we'll add our diameter, which is going to be 2.5. Right, so I'll go ahead and circle over here. So we got this 2.5, we've got this 1.5, and this 1.5 all handled. Exit. There we go. And it's going to remember that half inch extrusion from the previous feature, so we don't need to uh, change that. I'm just going to hit green check. Okay. Now, what I would recommend is go for like the next biggest feature. In that case, it's going to be this hole that goes through the part on the other side, right? So notice in this view right here, this top view, you don't see a hole. Uh, this is a full section, so we're cutting the part in half. It means that the hole is on this side, so the opposite side of the feature we just made. So I'm going to click on the kind of the far side of the part just to orient you. We're still peeking back here on this side of the part. Uh, real quick, instead of having to put these dimensions in this one and a half inch again, what I'm going to do 
is go to sketch two in my case to sketch for this cylindrical boss. I'm going to right click and I'm going to click show. And what that's going to do is give me the center point of that. So essentially this extruded cut that I'm about to make, right? This circle here is going to, what I'm going to do here is hit uh, control one, right? It's going to share dimensions with the uh, the extruded boss, which makes sense in this case. Okay, so the only dimension I need for this extruded cut cylinder is the diameter, and it's fully defined. Right. So if I went and changed <clears throat> uh, dimension, no, oh, I didn't mean to feed it through. Uh, what I was saying, if I change the dimension for this extruded cylinder boss the hole is going to follow with it, which is usually what we want. Uh, let's fix this cu ex uh, cut extrude. I'm going to go to edit feature. Instead of through all, I'm going to do blind. And in this case, we're looking at 0.75. And I'll circle that for you in a second. So we got this one and a half. And this 0.75 is the depth of that hole. And we also got this uh, 0.5 for <clears throat> the height of that boss. So that I would imagine is probably the trickiest part as far as reading this uh, orthographic projection. Okay, uh, you you'd normally you want to save the fillets for last, so we're going to do that. We want to add in this slot feature and this hole feature. Uh, so let me just do the hole real quick, get it out of the way. We're going to do extruded cut. Put a hole right here. I'm going to do it a little different than I did before. I'm going to put the diameter dimension on it first. It really doesn't matter what order you do it in. So we're going 0.25 from the edge. And we're going to go some distance, 2.75. From this edge, we're fully defined. That's good. Exit that sketch. And in this case, we want to be through all. That's good. Click green check. We're all set with that hole. There's really not much to uh, that, right? So we got these three dimensions taken care of. Now, this slot feature is going to go up in this uh, upper left corner. I'm going to scroll over so we can see it better. It's in this detail view. Okay, so we're going to go to extruded cut. I'm going to select this plane here. We're going to go to the straight slot command, right? So straight slot, not center point slot. One, two clicks. Notice I don't spend a lot of time on that, right? I'm not trying to like line this up perfectly because I'm going to put dimensions on it. I just want to get it like in, somewhat in the right spot. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in to make things easier, right? You don't want to be working out here. If you don't have to, right? Zooming is free. So we're going to zoom in so we can see what we're doing. And we'll start with our dimensions. So let's do this 45 degree dimension first. All right? Pretty straightforward. Let's do this 0.2 dimension. So we'll click one side, one side, right? 0.2. Let's do the length of the slot. So I made a mistake there. I went a little bit too fast. Let me delete that. Smart dimension. Right, the length of the slot is 0.5. Right. We're still under defined here. So why don't we take a look? Right. It's, you know, kind of still not defined in space. Only that angle is really controlled right now. So what we want to do is add this 0.25, so from one of the uh, ends of the slot to the edge of the part, 0.25, right? So it didn't move much, but when we grab the slot, notice how it can only move in the vertical direction. So we've got to limit it in that direction. It's fixed in horizontal. So it's just telling us, and we can see from the drawing what it needs, but we're looking for this quarter inch dimension from here. And now we're fully defined. So we're going to exit that sketch. 
It's through all. We're good there. Green check. Uh, so we got everything handled with that slot feature. The only thing we're missing now is a radius of 10 thousandths for this inside and 40 thousandths for the outside. Do that real quick. So I'm going to click right here, right? Radius, uh, 40 thousandths. Real note, no big deal with the fillet, right? Uh, and do the same thing over here. Unfortunately, they can't be the same feature because they're different sizes. So I've got to go in and change this. I'm going to go 0.1. Okay. And that's it, right? This is, you could turn it in from here. The midterm part will be similar. What I would say is don't try to put everything in one sketch, right? You're going to need more than one feature. So kind of try to figure out uh, which features you're going to need. The other thing is pay attention to the dimensions. You, you probably should use all of them. Uh, none of them are there just for show, right? They're, they're all going to get directly input into some dimension in SolidWorks, okay? So good luck on the... Uh, on the uh, midterm. Hopefully you did fine with this and I'll, I'll see you next time.